Hey everybody, so here's a quick demo of my uh, Instagram bulk recent bot that I've built. Um, and I'm kind of just showing it to people in a beta stage. You know, this isn't a complete bot yet, but it does interact quite well with uh, Fuelgram and other engagement groups like that. Um, so basically, I'm just going to get to it. Uh, so this is the file folder that you'll get when you purchase the bot. Um, so there's a few different pieces here that you'll just have to pay attention to. It's pretty simple once you get it up and running. Uh, so you do have your usernames.txt file. Basically what you do in here is you just load in all the usernames from uh, Fuelgram or your other engagement group that you're in. Uh, so it's just one username per line. You don't need commas or anything. You can literally just copy and paste a mass planner list. Um, it's the identical thing. Uh, so you basically just copy all these in. Um, as you can see, there's 200 usernames in here right now, so I'm just going to run my bot through those and interact with them, uh, giving the most recent post from each username uh, one like from my account. So I'm going to get to it here. Basically all you have to do um, is just follow the setup guide, which I'll show at the end of the video, and you just run start.py. Uh, this will open the main bot, so you know it'll just give you a little bit of information uh, that it's using usernames.txt. Uh, it'll say your bot is up to date, it'll check for an update. Um, as it is in the beta stage, I will be releasing some updates like quite frequently, and you'll get those for free uh, if you buy during the beta stage. It'll also check your license key, which you'll add the first time that you run the bot. And then it'll basically just load the usernames. Um, so then after that, it'll show you some time estimations, basically so you can just figure out how quickly you want to interact with people. And it'll tell you exactly how long it thinks uh, those interactions will take. So you can gauge that. Um, so for this, you know, just for the sake of demonstration, I'll just use all the available instances. This will be the fastest setting. Um, you don't have to use the fastest setting. You could use one to three. You know, using one instance would be slower than using three, obviously. So really just depends on how fast you need to interact with people. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, so it says using three instances, the time estimation. Uh, then it also shows you a little bit of an important piece of information here that you'll be liking 200 posts per hour. Uh, you should keep in mind that Instagram's limit is around 350 to 400 likes per hour, so you should stay and try and stay within that range. Um, so now, basically it's going to have you log into your Instagram account, just supply some username and password parameters for the next stage. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my username and password, which I'm obviously not going to show in this video. Um, but you'll be able to do that once you have the bot. Uh, so I'm just going to log in here. Alright, so once you've done that, you just tell it, yes, your details are correct. And then it's going to launch all of the bots that I told it to launch. Um, so basically each bot has loaded in a section of the usernames. Um, so those have loaded in. And should be up and running here in a minute. Alrighty. So as you can see, it's opened Chrome, uh, which will just take a second. I do have a lot of stuff running right now, so this will just take a minute. Okay, so basically what's happening here is the bot is interacting. Uh, it's about to interact with Instagram. And it's going to do that through Chrome. So it's interacting with the Instagram website. Uh, that's super important. All right, so interacting with the Instagram website is super important so that... Um, you're just working through the website, so it's not an actual like back-end thing connecting to the Instagram API. Um, and then basically, you'll just see here that it's going to these posts and liking them. And uh, you'll, you'll see in a second. So it goes to that, finds the picture, then it's go, going to go back. And I'm not clicking on anything here. It's literally just doing it on its own. So it's liking those pictures, and it's doing that with three instances. So um, you can see all this stuff running. It's basically super straightforward. You don't even have to look at this. You can just leave that running in the background of your computer um, and those will just all be open down there. And uh, at the end it'll give you a summary. So these are just a few instances running doing all those likes that I supplied in usernames.txt. Um, just basically the only thing to it is that you just have to load the usernames in there in the correct format which is just one username per line. Uh, no at symbol or comma. Just one username per line. Um, and then all you have to do is run start.py, set some parameters like configuration, type in your username and password, and you're good to go. So, you know, it's pretty simple, and I'm improving on it, building a lot of stuff on top of this, and I have some big plans for the future. So I hope that you'll check it out, and uh, let me know what you think.